Hi guys, it's Neil here from NeilKittis.me. This is just an update, quick update to the last video we made, which added a press comparison to the website. So we have to go over to NeilKittis.me, the live website, to do this guide because the case study turbo trainer that we're working through is done on a local host, which doesn't work because the data feeder that we're using for the press comparison needs to talk to a live website. So we did it on NeilKittis.me. So we set this up in the last video. Now just go through to the product page that we set up last time and you'll see that there's a price comparison in there and it's a way that we display this price comparison or the code we use to display this price comparison that we're going to modify here to a better updated version so if we go down in the back end on this product page this is where we put some code to display the price comparison it's in the format square brackets dfr colon and the custom view name question mark p equals product id then a close square bracket i'll show you more on this later but actually this format this code changes slightly the short codes changed for a better version now and a square bracket dfr colon custom view name question mark exactly the same as last time but this end bit has changed so instead of p equals which is product equals it's now comp set underscore id equals and then it's the comp set id rather than the product ID that we need to place in there. So just type in this new code and then we'll leave this composite ID because we'll go and get that now. We need to head over to Data Feeder, which is the program we use to generate this price comparison. And while on the neilkits.me website, I've got a resources section. So you can just go down here and I've got a link to Data Feeder that will open it right up for you. So we have to go into the members area. So this is a paid for plugin for WordPress, but it's quite cheap, $20, $25. So once in the back end members area, we need to click on the factory. This is where you set up the stores and the price comparisons. So last time, remember we created this Turbo Trainer price comparison store. And just to remind you, these are views, and this is a custom view we set up. So this is the name of the custom view that we put in that short code on the website. And again, to remind you, I'll click on it. And this is just some um, short codes in HTML that displays the price comparison like this. So we set all this up in the last video, if you want to remind yourself. But it's this price comparison case study, which is the name of this view. So this is what we type in here for the name of the custom view. But now we need this comp set ID. So we go back to data feeder and we click on the comparison set that we set up last time. Here's the price comparison we set up last time for this Elite Turbo Trainer. And last time we used the cycle surgery ID number because this is a master product and refresh yourself with the video from last time if you want to remember about this. But this is a product ID that we used here last time. And basically that's saying to the website, use that view, display it like that view, but refer to this product ID and create the comparison set from it. But now the new method uses this number up here which is an ID number for the whole price comparison set. So it doesn't rely on the individual product, but rather the set. So we just copy that number, ID number, and place it at the end there. And we can delete this old one and update. When we have a look at the site, it shouldn't change anything because it's using the same price comparison set, but it's just a way we're telling the website to find that price comparison set that we've just changed. So rather than relying on the individual product, it's actually looking for the whole price comparison set. And you may be thinking, I need to update my store. If you watched the last video, I did this quite a lot. And that's why nothing's changed. So I'll just go into the back end data feeder options and I'll update my settings. But we haven't actually changed any settings in data feeder itself. So this won't change anything. But just to show you, in case you were wondering, so I've updated my store and I'll refresh the website and nothing will change. So as I said, Cycle surgery is a product we were pointing to, but what would happen if that product disappeared from the feed, say it was sold out by the company, then there would be no master product in there. So the old code wouldn't be able to find it. So therefore it wouldn't generate the price comparison. We would have to come in and set a different product as a, as a master. So I've just clicked set as master there now on this new um, Evan Cycles product. And if you go in there, we'll see it's got a different ID number we need to copy that and paste it into the old code. But now, because there's a different master, we haven't had to change this ID number. And if it updates the settings with this new master product, 
again, it won't change anything on the site because the code isn't looking for an individual product anymore. It's just looking for the price comparison. So this is a much more robust way, and it means you don't have to update your store as much with new product IDs every time an old product goes out. So there you go, just some small tweaks to the price comparison code to a more robust version. So if you go over to the turbobacktrainer.com live website, just to remind you, this is what we're recreating now in our case studies. And the stage we're up to at the time of this video is we've set up the website and we've created these individual product pages with price comparisons. Make sure you stick with us as I do more videos and more guides working through the rest of this website. As always, head over to neilcurtis.me where you'll get more updates about what I'm up to and the latest videos. And of course, when you're there, make sure you sign up to the email list because I'll give you some great content as well as updates about new information. And of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel and you'll never miss a thing.